Hey guys, this is Greg, and this is a Trommel screen attachment for a cement mixer. The cement mixer I purchased from Harbor Freight, it's about $220, and the screen material I had a local machine shop here purchase and roll this piece of three quarter inch expanded metal. I believe that's 14 gauge. Uh, it's pretty lightweight. So it's not real heavy when it's hanging off the front of that cement mixer. It'll actually balance up there without any sort of additional support or anything. And you can just toss your compost or dirt up into it and it'll just run. Also inside of that screen is a piece of hardware cloth that is half inch by half inch. And you can see it in there. There is a piece of plywood in the bottom down there that I use to attach everything to. That is three quarter inch plywood that I then run a couple of screws in to hold it. Found me a center point here on the barrel. This is the bottom of a 55 gallon drum. I put me a little center point right there to get a mark and you can see where it's been marked around the edges. The barrel is the drum from the the concrete mixer has actually done this part. But, uh, but then I took three of these little angle brackets, kind of spaced them equally and drove those into the piece of plywood on the other side with screws. For attaching it then, I used, I think these are 5 sixteenths bolts or something like that. And they're attached to this. I took and sanded this off just a little bit so it wasn't a real sharp edge. This is a factory edge on this side so it won't cut you. You could actually purchase and roll this yourself. It's not real hard to roll this real lightweight gauge, but, uh, but I needed to buy the metal anyway so I just got our, one of our local guys here just to roll that for me. Uh, this expanded metal is probably 60 bucks a sheet, something like that, if you buy it from a metal supplier. And then for the attachment to the cement mixer, I use these little turn bolts. I originally used just some wire, but uh, decided I would swap that out for some turn bolts to make it a little more easy to get it on and off the cement mixer in case I wanted to use the mixer for an actual mixer. And then I just picked up these at Lowe's. These are just little uh, anchor brackets. That, uh, that allow you to do tie downs and screwed those in. So if I wanted to use this to you know, be a cement mixer, well, it's a cement mixer. All you do is drop, the, drop it down, turn it on, and it takes off and it's just a cement mixer. Um, so that makes it real easy to convert back and forth. And then I'm on the, put this barrel up on top of it, show you that real quick, and then I will give it a real quick test run, let you see it run, works pretty well. Okay, I've got it kind of supported up there so you can see, but you can see those three little brackets right there basically fit perfectly inside that hole. Now I'm going to drop it down into place and put the uh, turnbuckles on it. Okay, we've got the turnbuckle uh, put back on there. These turnbuckles, let's see if I can tell you what the length on these little critters are. Looks like they are 730 seconds by six and a quarter inch is what those turnbuckles are and i used a little s hook to connect it here just drilled a hole through the drum and connected it there and then on the other end it just screws in and those screw up nice and tight and it holds good runs well this barrel is the the expanded metal is 28 inches across which basically fits perfectly over my wheelbarrow and then i have a two wheelbarrow system here so anything that uh, is screened out will fall into the second wheelbarrow over here. The good clean compost will fall into this one and we'll give it a little test run and let you see it. Okay. falling out nicely into the barrel right here, into this full barrel. Uh, half inch screen seems to be about the best size for us. And then the trash just rolls out over here, falls down into the bucket. If you want that to run a little longer, you just adjust it up. You pick it up and it'll actually stay in the barrel and kind of grind it up in there. See, it's just kind of rolling around like now more like a cement mixer. Uh, it'll kind of grind it. The 
you wanted it to run a little faster, you would just drop down a bit, and it would just basically dump the stuff out over into that other barrel over there. We found that pretty much level, somewhat level like that, is, is about the right, uh, about the right distance for us. It, it's just a little bit tilted back, but that seems to be perfect for it, just rolling those little quads out. And you can watch it just kind of pull them on out of there. You just toss it up in there and it just does its little job. The, it takes about four minutes to completely fill a wheelbarrow. And uh, I guess that's about it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video.